Peace. I just want to take a moment and just elaborate on effective teaching methods. A few people reached out to me and they wanted to get some insight on how do you effectively teach people and what are some of the key points in regards to being a person that is an asset and a resource to other people. One thing that I always encourage people to do, first and foremost, is you have to be a good listener. You have to be a good listener. If you want to teach somebody or reach anybody, you have to be able to listen to what their needs are. So what happens is you put yourself in a position where you're able to effectively do a needs assessment of this person's situation. Sometimes we come into situations where we have some prejudices with us or preconceived notions of what somebody else needs because we didn't take the time to listen. I know different brothers and sisters in my nation, the gods and nurse, where we just assume somebody wants to know formally about the Father. Or we just assume that somebody needs supreme mathematics. And I also see it in other nations, other cultures, and other religions. You know, you have some people who someone may come to them, and because they haven't even listened and found out what their needs are, they may just be giving them scriptures without even asking them what their needs actually are or even listening to them. So, first and foremost, you have to be able to do an effective needs assessment on someone through listening. When you listen to them, you may find out somewhere down the line that they may not even know what they need, let alone you telling them what they need. Sometimes you may have people that come to you, you're giving them information over here when all they actually needed was how, need to learn how to fill out a proper job application or where you can refer them to in regards to putting a resume together. That may be what their need was practically right now. But here you are giving them this, that, and the third. Or you may have someone that comes to you and instead of you teaching them about basic civilization in regards to proper etiquette when you're a guest in someone's home, how to talk to your own parents, and things along those lines, some people are sitting there trying to tell them, giving them knowledge of self, or handing them lessons. You always have to be a good listener first and foremost before you can even decide or determine if you can assist someone. Sometimes you may have to just refer them to somebody. Sometimes you may have to refer them to an agency. Sometimes you may not even be the person for the job. But if you're not listening first and foremost, you won't know that second thing is once you're able to assess those people's needs you have to come with an open mind and not come with answers and what that means is sometimes you have people who before you even tell them what the needs are or how they can assist you you already have your mind made up of what you're going to do that's not good either because like I said you may be giving them information over here when they need this information over there. It doesn't mean your information is bad. It doesn't mean that referring them to Bible scriptures or telling them about the Father or even putting them on to what different surahs in the Quran is. doesn't mean that that's bad in and of itself, but it's out of context. It's not, it's not in proper due season. So what ends up happening is when you're not listening, you're not receptive, and you're not actually being able to be a resource to this person, they may discount everything that you're sharing with them. They may look at that situation as, I don't want anything to do with anything you're talking about because it makes no sense to me in regards to where I'm at right now and what I need to be doing right now. So you don't want to put yourself in that position as well where you having a desire to assist someone or be a resource to people, it neutralizes your effectiveness to help them because you didn't even listen. You didn't do a proper needs assessment of where they're at in their growth and development and if you can even assist them. So it's very important to keep those particular two components in mind. First and foremost, you have to be a good listener and receptive to people and assess their needs. Once you're able to assess their needs, you don't come with the mentality that you automatically have the answers. You come with the mentality of wanting to assist them in a way where they can help find their own answers. So I will that this was inspiring, it was empowering, and it was educating for those of you who really want to be more effective teachers and not to put yourself in a position where you neutralize your effectiveness to teach others because you're giving them the wrong information at the wrong time. And the only way you will know that 
is being receptive and listening to people and building that relationship with them so you can find out if you can assist them. So with that said, peace.